I'm going to go over the AES Corporation on the monthly, the weekly, and the daily time frame and give you some price predictions according to the analysts. Hi, everyone. It's Dow on the Dow. We ended the day at $27.60, down nearly 1%. The 52-week low, $18.62. The 52-week high, $29.89. Volume, lower than normal with 3.1 million shares traded. We typically see 5 million shares traded. It has a market cap of $18.4 billion and pays a dividend yield of 2.38%. Now taking a look at the performance for the week, we are up one and a half percent for the month. We are down 3% before the year. We are up 19%. Congratulations. If you've made some money off of this stock under the technicals, it's considered a sell under the analyst rating. It's considered a buy. And the one-year price target on TradingView is $31, which represents a 12% return on your money from where we are right now. Now, taking a look at the chart itself, we are sitting right here very close to two standard deviations, which would take us to $33, which is a price target right here. Now, above that, the range is at three standard deviations, $43.58 to the north side of that. $54.07. Now, if we slide back down to the middle of the trend, that takes us to $13.09. I want to thank a viewer named Marat for pointing this stock out to me, so I thought I would do a little deep dive for you. Now, over here is an area to go long. This right here is considered support. And notice the bounce right here. And this right here, would have been an area to go short. Anytime we hit resistance, this is a level of resistance, resistance, resistance. So anytime I see that, I anticipate a sell back, a sell off as people take their profits and they run. And that's exactly what they did. This is a fall of roughly 98%. And then to the upside at support here to here, is roughly a return of 1,846%. Now, if we are down here, this area would be considered resistance. And it broke through, but it could not get to this level at two standard deviations. So you got to track that. Now, the RSI is turning down. We are at 58. And the MACD is also turning down, it looks like. It has not crossed right here. So if both of these, though, are turning down, you know the price will typically go down as well. But we are nearing resistance. So because we are nearing resistance, I do anticipate a little pullback as people take their profits and they run. So it could go zigzag, zigzag, and then all the way up again. You just never know. And let me take a look at this on the weekly time frame. All right. According to the analysts, if we go to the north side, let's just hypothetically say you buy in at $28 to the first target there of $30.20. That represents a 7.8% return on your money. And if we make it to $33, which is another price target, that is return of 18%. Let me move this. And this is the weekly. If we go to the next line at three standard deviations, that is 35.90 and above that 38.53. Of course, we may never get there or it could take a very long time to do so. Now on the weekly time frame, the range is to the north side right here at 32.18 and to the south side at negative two standard deviations is $21 and roughly 74 cents. The RSI, eh, hooking down a little, and the MACD has not crossed over really to the upside. I want to see some green, and we're not there. All right. And notice, again, on the weekly, this is an area of support, and notice the bounce. And right here, the bounce. Anytime you see 30 and below, I anticipate a bounce because people are buying the dip and right here is an area of resistance 
And what happens at resistance? People take their profits and they run. So fell down, went back up again, fell down, up again, and then down. And of course, it psychs you out and you don't know when to get out. But of course, you can anticipate a little pullback. And from here, it did go all the way back down to resistance. And from this level, let's just take it from here all the way to right here is a drop of 33%. And again, this area is support. So at support, I anticipate a bounce back because people buy the dip and look what happened. So there are many opportunities to scalp, day trade, swing trade in between as you play this range. Okay. And very quickly, let's take a look at the daily time frame. Oh, let me get rid of this because this clutters my. Oh, let me try that again. There we go. Clutters my chart. Oh no, my computer just went out on me. Just a minute here. I don't think you can tell, but on my screen it did. Let me wake up my computer. There we go. All right. On the daily, the range is right here to the north side. We are talking roughly $30.67. And above that, $32.85. And finally, $34.94. And to the south side, back at the middle of the trend, takes us to $26.34. And then below that, is 2192. All right, let's take a look at the RSI. We are hooking down, selling off the MACD. Hmm, doesn't look great either. Looks like it's turning down here. So you need both of these to turn up to show us that there is a reversal, and I don't see that just yet. All right, I think that does it for me. If there is a stock that you want me to go over, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching.